has their own hero, a famous person, an athlete, maybe even Martin Luther King Jr., but mine is my mom. She's always been there for me since I was little, through my bad times and my good times. She's taught me many lessons, and I've concluded over the years that moms know best. So my lesson is that moms know best when they tell you to do something that's for your own good. Like when I was littler, I loved to be barefoot in the summer, and I would walk around my block because it wasn't that busy. And so I'd always be barefoot, and she would always tell me not to be barefoot because... I'm going to get cut on my foot really bad. I would always stub my toe and I would think it's not a big deal. But one day I was hanging out with my friends and I was riding one of those scooters where you <coughs> kick your leg. There's the brake on the back. And I was barefoot. And I hit a bump and I guess my foot got caught on a ledge and it ripped my toenail off. <laughs> so I ran the whole way home crying for my mom. And I was in like first or second grade, I think, maybe third, bleeding, and she, I got home, and she's like, I tell you not to be barefoot, but you don't listen to me, because you don't think I'm right ever, and I know she wanted to say I told you so, but she didn't, she just helped me out, and then I think a few weeks later, I was hanging out with some other friends, and they had this big hill in their backyard, and we would always run down it, I don't know if we were playing tag or something. But I ran down the hill, and at the bottom, there must have been a can in the ground. Oh. And they had it mowed their lawn for a while, so I was running, and then all of a sudden I stepped on something really sharp. <laughs> and it, like, slit my heel open. Oh, oh my God. Ouch. Same part? Slit my heel open, so I was running home, crying for my mom again. And I, I remember being bummed because I... I went to daycare and every Tuesday and Thursday they went to the pool and I couldn't go in the pool because it was so easy to split back open that it could get blood everywhere. So I know my mom wanted to tell me, I told you so again, but she didn't. She just helped me out and called the doctor to see if I might need stitches and bring me in. And I had to get a tetanus shot and that hurt really bad. My arm was dead for like the whole week. And then I think the summer after that, we lived on a busy road, and a car like drove up on the curve, and there was a speed limit sign, and they hit it and knocked it over, but the bottom of the sign was still in the ground, hidden in the grass. And so I was walking out to go get the mail for my mom. Actually, I think I was running. <laughs> and I was barefoot again, and I stepped on it. <laughs> but that that one actually wasn't the worst. But after that, my mom told me that I had to wear shoes outside from now on. And I, at that point, I kind of figured maybe she's right. Maybe I should listen to her. <laughs> so my lesson is that, or my lesson for you guys is that you should, when your mom tells you to do something, she's not trying to be mean about it. Even though you may like it, it can harm you in the end. And you should take what your mom or any parent says and listen to them because they lived longer than you and they know what they're talking about. So they know better than you do. And it being Mother's Day this weekend, you should take what your mom says, <laughs> not take it for granted. And the lesson is, moms know best. Excellent.